Congratulations on the purchase of your new Singer Isaac sewing machine. Before starting to sew, let's take some time to get to know your new machine. We'll begin by reviewing all of the principal parts. The top cover opens for access to the bobbin winding mechanism and threading the top of the machine. The bobbin winder thread guide holds tension on the thread while the bobbin is winding thread on the bobbin winder shaft. When the bobbin is filled, the bobbin winder stop will automatically stop the bobbin. The spool pin and cap hold the top thread supply and allow it to unwind smoothly. The hand wheel provides a means for raising or lowering the needle. The thread tension control controls the top thread tension of the machine. The start stop button starts and stops the machine. The push button reverse is conveniently located at the front of the machine. Press the button to sew in reverse. The needle up, needle down button provides the ability to stop the machine with the needle in the up position or the down position. A built-in thread cutter is conveniently located at the back left side of the machine. The sewing speed control allows for sewing without a foot control. This provides precise, consistent sewing speeds. A removable extension table lets you convert the machine bed from flat to free arm for sewing circular areas such as sleeves and pant legs. Your machine accessories are stored in the extension table. An automatic needle threader allows for quick and easy threading of the needle every time. The presser foot lifter at the back of the machine lets you raise and lower the presser foot. It even has an extra lift position for placing bulky fabrics under the presser foot. The bobbin cover plate is a clear plastic cover over the bobbin area. By pressing the bobbin cover release button, you can easily open the bobbin cover plate for easy removal and replacement of the top drop-in bobbin. The needle clamp screw holds the needle in the machine and prevents incorrect insertion. The presser foot holds the fabric against the feed system and can be quickly and easily changed by pressing the foot release lever. The feed dogs move the fabric under the needle and towards the back of the machine. For most sewing, the feed dogs are raised. For specialty sewing, such as free motion embroidery, you have the option of lowering the feed dogs. To do this, press the lever located below the free arm. The needle plate supports the fabric during sewing. The power light switch turns the machine and the sewing light on and off. The cord socket is where the electrical cord is plugged into the machine. The foot control socket is where the foot control is plugged into the machine. The link cable storage compartment is where the cable for the Game Boy is stored. A built-in carrying handle makes the machine very portable. So those are the principal parts of your new sewing machine. Refer to your owner's manual for more details and information. Now that you are familiar with the principal parts, we're ready to wind a bobbin and thread the machine. Here's an important point to keep in mind before you begin to thread your machine. Old thread or inexpensive thread can cause poor stitch quality and affect your tension. So be sure to use good quality, new thread in your new Singer Isaac machine. To wind a bobbin, place a spool of thread on the spool pin. Secure the thread with the spool cap, making sure a small gap is left between the cap and the spool of thread to allow the spool to rotate freely as you are sewing. When using larger size spools of thread, be sure to use the vertical spool pin or the auxiliary spool pin. It's very important to make sure the thread is pulled out from the spool and place it between the two silver tension discs on the first thread guide. Continue on around the second thread guide. Notice the threading chart on the top of the machine. The blue represents the bobbin thread path and the red represents the top thread path. Pull the end of the thread through one of the small holes in the bobbin. 
Place the bobbin on the bobbin winder shaft and push the bobbin to the right until it clicks. Hold on to the tail of the thread and start the machine. The bobbin will automatically stop when it is filled. Stop the machine and push the shaft to the left to remove the bobbin and cut the thread. Raise the needle to the highest position by turning the hand wheel toward you. Remove the bobbin cover plate by pushing the release button to the right while pressing the left corner of the plate. Insert the bobbin, making sure the bobbin rotates counterclockwise. Pull the thread through the first tension slot in the bobbin case. Place your finger gently on the top of the bobbin while you pull the thread through the second tension slot. Pull approximately 6 inches of thread toward the back of the machine. Now replace the bobbin cover plate. We're now ready to thread the top of the machine. Always make sure the presser foot lifter is raised before threading the top of the machine. This releases the top thread tension. Turn the hand wheel toward you until the needle is in the highest position and the thread take-up lever is visible. If you have just wound a bobbin, remove the thread from the last tension guide and pull it forward around the next thread guide. Continue following the thread path down to the front of the machine and up around to the take-up lever. Pass the thread through the take-up lever from right to left and then continue down to the needle area. Put the thread into the last thread guide before the needle. It's a good idea when using the built-in needle threader to set the machine to straight stitch and raise the needle to the highest position. Pull down the needle threader lever and hook the thread around the left thread guide. Place the thread between the silver guides and under the wire hook in the needle. Release the needle threader lever and the thread and the needle will thread automatically. Pull the thread loop out towards the back of the machine. Once the needle has been threaded and the bobbin placed in the bobbin case, the bobbin thread must be brought up through the hole in the needle plate. Turn the hand wheel toward you until the needle goes to its lowest and then its highest position. Gently pull the top thread until the lower bobbin thread comes up in the form of a loop. Use the flat side of a seam ripper or a pin to open up the bobbin thread loop until the end is free. Pull both thread tails through the slit in the presser foot and towards the back of the machine. Needles are a very important part of the sewing process. Singer makes a wide variety of needles to go along with the wide variety of fabrics available today. Yellow band needles, 2045, are for knits, and standard or red band needles, 2020, are for wovens. Needles are also sized from 9 to 16. Size 9 is used for lighter weight fabrics, and size 16 would be for heavier materials. For more details, refer to your owner's manual. Remember to change your machine needle frequently. A bent or dull needle can greatly affect the stitch quality. To change the needle, loosen the needle clamp and remove the old needle. To insert a new needle, make sure the flat side is to the back of the machine and push it up as far as it will go. Then tighten the needle clamp securely. The machine comes with a general purpose foot already attached. You can easily change to another presser foot by following these easy steps. First of all, make sure the sewing machine is turned off. Raise the needle to the highest position by turning the hand wheel toward you. Raise the presser foot using the presser foot lifter. Press on the foot release lever located on the back of the presser foot shank. Take the foot off the machine. Place the new foot under the center of the shank and lower the presser foot lifter, fitting the shank over the presser foot pin. The foot should snap into place. Now that the machine is threaded, it's a good idea to do a test sew. Remember, you are able to sew a straight stitch without connecting the Game Boy unit. Turn the machine on. Make sure both the top and bobbin threads are pulled towards the back of the machine. 
Place your fabric under the presser foot and lower the presser foot lever. Turn the hand wheel towards you until the needle enters the fabric. Press on the foot control to start the machine or press the start stop button. Guide the fabric while sewing. To lock the stitches, press the reverse button and sew approximately five to six stitches in reverse. Release the reverse button and continue to sew forward. Stop the sewing machine when the edge of the fabric is reached. Turn the hand wheel towards you until the needle is in the highest position. Then raise the presser foot and remove the fabric from the machine. Trim the threads using the thread cutter located at the back left of the machine or use your scissors. Look at the right and wrong sides of the fabric to check the stitch quality. If your tension is off, re-thread the machine and make sure the needle is in properly. Before connecting the Game Boy unit to your Isaac machine, make sure the batteries are correctly inserted in the Game Boy. Insert the stitch cartridge into the Game Boy unit until it clicks into place. You're now ready to connect the Game Boy unit to the sewing machine. To do this, open the storage compartment and remove the link cable. Plug the cable into the Game Boy. Turn on the power to the Game Boy. Now turn on the power to the sewing machine. Before we begin to select stitches, let's review the operation of the Game Boy. The Start button will activate the sewing program. Button A will move you forward through the sewing program. Button B is used to return to a previous screen or cancel a selected item. The control pad is used to select menus, stitch patterns, stitch length and width, and so forth. By pressing the arrows on the control pad, you can move the cursor on the screen up, down, left, and right. When the Game Boy is turned on, music will start to play and a picture of a sewing machine will appear. The screen will flash Push Start. Press the Start button. The next screen will show the three languages of the sewing cartridge, English, French, and Spanish. Use the control pad arrows up or down to select the desired language. Then press button A. The stitch menu will now appear showing the seven menu selections. Once again, use the control pad arrows up and down to move through the selections. For this exercise, place the arrow on Patterns and press the button A. The Pattern screen appears showing Single Patterns and Combination. Let's choose Single Patterns. There are 84 stitch patterns available on the Isaac. The stitches are shown in groups of 14 stitches on 6 screens. To move through the stitches, press the control pad arrows. Notice each stitch has a pattern number. Move the control pad arrows and choose pattern number A004. Press button A to select the stitch. Press button A once more to access the length and width adjustments. Press the up and down control pad arrow keys to change the stitch pattern length. Press the left and right control pad arrow keys to change the stitch pattern width. Set the length to 1.5 millimeters and the width to 6.5 millimeters. When the length and width adjustments have been made, press the A button. Three options are now available. Data Transfer, Add to Favorites, and Return. Choose Data Transfer and press button A. The next screen asks if you would like to view the setup guide. Use the control pad arrow keys to select Yes. The setup guide takes you step by step through the process we just finished. Press A. The first screen tells you to connect the power plug. Press A. The second screen says to connect the Game Boy unit. Press A. The third screen says to turn on the power switch. 
press A. The fourth screen states Set Thread Spool. Place the thread on the spool pin and press A. The fifth screen instructs you to thread the bobbin thread. Place the bobbin in the bobbin case and press A. The sixth screen tells you to thread the top of the machine. Press A. The seventh screen instructs you to pull up the bobbin thread. Press A. The eighth screen states place the fabric under the presser foot. Press A. The ninth screen says you're ready to sew. Select Data Transfer to transfer the stitch to the sewing machine. The stitch is now ready to be sewn. Place your fabric under the presser foot and sew. When finished sewing, press the down arrow on the control pad to select the E. Press the A button. This will end the process. Return to the pattern screen and select combination this time by pressing the control pad arrow keys. Press the button A. Up to three patterns can be combined together. Notice there are three boxes at the lower right section of the screen to combine your stitches. Use the control pad arrows to select the position for each stitch. Press button A to lock the position. You are now able to choose the desired stitch. Use the control pad arrows to move through the selection of stitches. Once the stitch is selected, press button A. Some stitches have a mirror image selection available. Press the control pad arrows to select the mirror image. Press button A a second time and the length and width screen now appears. If there is no arrow displayed next to the stitch length or stitch width, that value cannot be changed. Use the control pad arrows to select a length and width. When length and width have been selected, press button A once again. Your pattern has been selected and locked into place. A double arrow symbol will now appear above the stitch if the mirror image is chosen. Now use the control pad arrows to select the position for the next stitch. Press button A to lock the position. You are now able to choose the desired stitch. Use the control pad arrows to move through the selection of stitches. Once the stitch is selected, press button A. Remember some of the stitches have a mirror image selection available. Press the control pad arrows to select the mirror image. Press button A a second time and the length and width screen now appears. If there is no arrow displayed next to the stitch length or stitch width, that value cannot be changed. If the values can be changed, use the control pad arrows to select a length and width. When the length and width has been selected, press button A once again. Your second pattern has been selected and locked into place. Now use the control pad arrows to select the position for the third stitch. When all three stitches have been selected and locked into place, Use the control pad arrows to select End. Press button A. You now have the choice to transfer the data to the sewing machine, add your combination to the memory for your favorite designs, or return to the previous screens for editing your stitch selections. Let's choose Add to Favorites and put the combination of stitches into memory. Press button A. The Favorites memory screen will now appear showing the first memory. Press the control pad cursor to move through the four memories. Let's choose memory number one for our combination. Press button A. The screen will now say save in number one. Put the cursor on yes and press A. The combination of designs has now been added to the favorites memory. Press button B to return to the combination screen. Let's choose Data Transfer and send the stitch information to the sewing machine. Select No when asked if you want to see the setup guide. Place the fabric under the presser foot and sew your combination patterns. Your new Isaac sewing machine has five different styles of buttonholes. 
The stitch length can be adjusted on these buttonholes as well as a narrow or wide stitch width. Before programming the Isaac stitch cartridge, set up the sewing machine for buttonholes. First, place your button in between the two white tabs on the buttonhole foot. Then, make sure the sewing machine is turned off. Raise the needle to the highest position by turning the hand wheel towards you. Raise the presser foot using the presser foot lifter. Press on the foot release lever located on the back of the presser foot shank. Take the foot off the machine. Place the buttonhole foot under the center of the shank and lower the presser foot lifter, fitting the shank over the presser foot pin. The foot should snap into place. Lower the buttonhole lever located at the back left of the machine. Make sure the lever is in between the two stoppers on the buttonhole foot. Turn the machine back on. Now let's program the Game Boy Stitch Cartridge for buttonholes. Starting from the menu screen, use the control pad arrows to select buttonholes. Press button A. Once again, use the control pad arrow keys and select the third buttonhole style. Press button A to lock the selection. Use the up and down control pad arrows to adjust the stitch length. Then use the left and right arrows to select either wide or narrow. For our practice buttonhole, let's select a stitch length of 0.3 millimeters and the wide width. Press button A when the selections have been made. The buttonhole information can now be sent to the sewing machine. Choose Data Transfer and press button A. When asked to view Setup Guide, say No. Place a piece of fabric under the buttonhole presser foot. Make sure the buttonhole lever is pulled down into position. You are now ready to sew the buttonhole. When the buttonhole is completed, the sewing machine will automatically stop. Remove the fabric from the machine and trim the threads. Use a seam ripper or small scissors to trim the opening in the buttonhole. It's a good idea to insert a pin at the top and bottom of the buttonhole. This prevents cutting through the sewn area. Remove the buttonhole foot and replace the standard foot. Use the control pad arrows to move the cursor to E at the lower right of the screen. Press button A. There are three styles of lettering available, block, script, and outline. The letters are approximately 6.5 millimeters high. The spacing between the letters can also be changed. Starting from the menu screen, use the control pad arrows to select the lettering function. Press button A. Block letters will appear on the screen. To select lowercase letters, numbers, script, or outline letters, press the control pad arrows down and over to the right side of the screen. Place the cursor on one of the arrows on the screen, then press button A. You are now able to select a different lettering style or size by continuing to press A. Press button A until the desired screen is reached. Move the control pad arrows up and over to select the desired letter. Press button A to lock the letter into position. Use the control pad arrows to select the next letter. Press button A to lock the second letter into position. Continue on in the same manner until the word or name is complete. Up to 10 letters can be programmed into the stitch cartridge. Move the control pad arrow down and over to the E in the lower right corner of the screen. Press button A. The adjust letter spacing screen now appears. Use the control pad arrow keys to change the spacing. Use the left arrow key to decrease the space between letters and the right arrow key to increase the space between letters. Press button A when the desired space has been programmed. 
The data is now ready to be transferred to the sewing machine or added to your favorite's memory. If you want to make further changes, press the Return option. Let's choose Data Transfer and transfer the lettering information to the machine. Press A. When asked to view the setup guide, press No. Place a piece of fabric under the presser foot and stitch out the lettering. When finished sewing, move the control pad cursor down and to the right to select E. Press A. Favorite patterns, letters, or combination designs can be saved into the memory of the stitch cartridge for future use. The favorite single pattern memory has 10 memories for saving. Combination patterns has 4, lettering has 5, and custom has 4 memories. Starting from the menu screen, select Favorites. Press button A. Three selections now appear on the screen, Patterns, Letters, and Custom. Let's select Patterns. Press button A. The next favorite screen that appears shows single patterns or combinations. Let's choose Combination Patterns. Press button A. Favorites Memory Screen now appears. Our stored pattern is in memory number 1. Press button A. You are now offered the options Data Transfer, Delete, or Return. Press Data Transfer to send the stitch information to the machine. When asked to view the Setup screen, say No. The stitch information will now be sent to the sewing machine. After the stitches are sewn, use the control pad arrows and select E on the screen. Press button A. Single patterns, letters, and custom favorites can be retrieved in the same way as the combination patterns. You also have the ability to create your own custom stitches with the Isaac Stitch Cartridge. Starting from the menu screen, use the control pad arrow keys to select Custom. There are 30 stitch bars to select from, and up to 20 bars can be combined to create your custom stitch design. Press button A. Use the control pad arrow keys to select the desired type of bar for your stitch. Press button A. To change the bar, press button B. The cursor will return to the bar screen, so use the control pad arrows to select a new bar. Press button A. Use the control pad arrows to move the bar within the screen area. Continue using button A, B, and the control pad arrows to create your own custom stitch. When all stitch bars have been selected, move the control pad arrow to E and press button A. The next custom screen will let you choose a unit of pattern or a series of pattern. If a unit is chosen, the sewing machine will only sew one custom pattern. If a series is chosen, the sewing machine will sew the custom pattern continuously. Let's choose Series. Press button A. The custom stitch information is now ready to be transferred to the sewing machine or added to your favorite's memory. Let's transfer the information to the sewing machine. Select No when asked to view the setup guide. Your custom stitch has now been sent to your sewing machine and you are ready to sew. The colors of the virtual fabric and the thread can be changed on the stitch cartridge to preview colors on the screen of the Game Boy unit. Remember, this function is visual and does not affect how the sewing machine sews. Starting from the menu screen, use the control pad arrows to select Colors. Press button A. The thread color will be set first, 
but you can use the control pad arrows to select the fabric colors first. Let's select thread. Press button A to activate the cursor on the screen. Use the control pad arrows to move through the colors. When the desired color is selected, press button A once again. Use the control pad arrows to select fabric. Press button A to activate the cursor. Select the desired fabric color and then press button A once again and the fabric color will be set. Press button B to finish the function. The fabric and thread colors will now be changed. To preview your fabric and thread colors, select any of the options such as patterns, buttonholes, letters, etc. The fabric and thread colors will now be changed. If the fabric and thread are set to the same color, a buzzer will sound and the setting will not be accepted. If the start stop button or the reverse stitch button is pushed, or if the foot control is depressed when the sewing machine is not set up correctly, or if any incorrect operation is made, the sewing machine will not operate and a buzzer will sound and an error message will be displayed on the Game Boy unit. When an error message is displayed, correct the problem following the instructions in the message. The error message will disappear from the screen once the problem has been fixed. Your new Singer machine has been designed to give you many years of dependable service. To ensure this reliability, remember to take a few minutes now and then to keep the machine clean. How often a machine is cleaned depends on how often it is used. Always remember to disconnect the machine before cleaning. The needle plate on the machine can be easily removed to clean around the feed dogs. Raise the needle to the highest position. Raise the presser foot and remove it. Remove the bobbin cover plate. Remove the needle plate. Remove the bobbin case. Clean the feed dogs and the shuttle area with a lint brush. Put a drop of sewing machine oil on the shuttle race at these two points. Replace the bobbin case with the projection positioned against the spring. Replace the needle plate. Replace the bobbin cover and presser foot. Refer to your owner's manual for more details concerning the care of your machine. Thank you for purchasing Singer's Isaac Sewing Machine. We know you will enjoy many years of creative sewing.